Hello there, like and subscribe, thanks very much. Um, so this is a video that I've been thinking about for a while now. Um, there's been a lot of stuff kind of building up in the MCU, the Marvel Universe. Um, and I, But then again, and each of the Phase 5, I think we're in Phase 5 now, yeah, um, movies, it's getting to be fast-paced and... There's getting to be a lot of new things happening uh, in the MCU. Now, I could edit, like, you know, one of those videos where you see, you know, clips from the different movies and all of that stuff. And then, like, you know, that gets a lot of views. But I couldn't be bothered. Um, what, like, so what I'm going to talk about is I'm just going to come out straight with it. And Loki, spoilers for Loki season one. <laughs> Um, in Loki we see variants now even Loki himself has a variant um, he, you know there's a girl version of him a woman version of him there she, there she is um, and then you know he meets loads of different variants of himself and the, like like this like these here and um, you know and then it's up to the time guys to uh i know i'm gonna t tick off a lot of people um then it's up to the you know the these guys to stop them and bring them in and you know bring them to trial or just you know just get rid of them basically um so this kind of to me solves a few problems because whenever you see an actor or an actress get replaced in the MCU, you can kind of explain it as a variant. Like, so let's go back to Iron Man 1. And we see uh, Mr. Howard here. He was in Iron Man 1. And, but then he was replaced for Iron Man 2 with himself. Um, yeah. So I think, I think the best way to you know, solve this is say he was a variant. For some reason, like, maybe he went off and he wanted the Iron Man suit for himself or he killed Iron Man. You know, he... And maybe he stole the Iron Man suit before he should have, you know. I, I, he, it, also, the show What If, I guess, could get into this. Well, What If explains different parallel universes. Um... Which also could explain away this situation. Like, I mean, he could still show up in a future film. Um, you know, um, wouldn't that be fun? But uh, I think you could call him a variant. And he could show up in Loki at some point. That'd be funny. That'd be, I think that'd be really good. Because he is a really good actor. Uh, I'm sure there's reasons why they replaced him. But... Uh, like, I don't think he did anything wrong. He, like, he's still in big shows right now, and maybe it's... I don't know. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I think that's just... my. That's just my idea. That's just, like... You could have some throwaway line in a future film. Like, or in, indeed, Loki Season 2, you could show the Avengers and then, like, explain why he was replaced. You know, I think that'd be cool for season two of Loki. Maybe they've already finished shooting it, but oh well. Um, yeah, but it was he was his best friend, so like you know, and then of course he got replaced. But um, yeah, so that's uh, that's how I explain. So that's how I explain. Any time in the MCU they replace an actor. They're a variant, and they were cut. Um, and that's it. Um, yeah. Now, here's my other one. So, we're talking about Eternals. Now, it, it didn't really do that good in the box office, but it is part of the MCU. I actually thought it was a good film. Uh, I check out my movie review of that video, of that film. It's pretty good. Um... So yeah, I I actually think that this solves a few problems in the MCU. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, it kind of says that 
Thor is a robot. Like, spoilers for the Eternals. Um, but these guys are all kind of, you know, sentient machines, robots type of thing. So was Thor's... Is Thor a robot? Is his mom a robot? Is... Well, his mom... Well, his dad... His dad's brother shows up at the end of this, played by um, the man from One Direction. Um, so, like, that's kind of weird. <laughs> but then, of course, then at the end, spoiler for the Thor movies, but then at the end of the last Thor film, like, there was an afterlife. And even the human uh, doctor, like Thor's girlfriend, went to the afterlife. So that was really okay. So how are they going to explain all of this stuff? It's weird. Um, but I don't know. So, here's Thor's planet. Now, I think it's fair to say that at some point there was a giant being in the, in the planet and it blew up the planet. But somehow, you know, Thor's dad uh, figured out a way of saving this, saving this city, you know, the capital of the city, and uh, just having humans on it. Uh, a question often arose where all the humans... Uh, the rest of the humans on the planet, um, you know, robots too, they're not. I think it's just, I think humans are just kind of the, the easiest thing to, 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 to create, to, you know, to help create the big uh, giant being in the planet. And, uh, you know, so they're kind of, that's why humans are kind of everywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that kind of explains that. And it kind of explains a couple of other things. Like why the human why the other humans on the planet don't have superpowers? Well, because they're not the robots. They're just the regular they're just regular humans serving their gods type of thing. So that's why they don't really need um it doesn't really need to be explained. And I also noticed like all the other people who played Hulk, they're variants too. Why not? They're variants. Like, when you think about uh, since the first Hulk film and then the second Hulk film, and then he was quickly replaced, um, sure, they're variants. Why not? Even what if it, it actually showed the orig- origins of the Hulk and it showed Mark um, in the cartoon. It wasn't this. It wasn't this guy. It was Mark. Ro- Mark Ruffalo. Uh, so, yeah. So that's kind of... So we actually saw either a variant or we saw, you know, an alternate timeline uh, from what if type of thing. So that's, you know, that's how you explain these things. Um, That's how you kind of explain these loopholes, these, uh, you know, bits in time uh, that happen throughout the... T- throughout the Marvel Universe, throughout the movies, that you can't really explain. But that's how you explain it, like, you know. Uh, and even the original Hulk series, why not? That's part of the multiverse. <laughs> why not? <laughs> um, yeah, so I wonder if Thor's sister knew she was a robot or not. Hmm, I don't know. Well, she's gone now, but I think she might show up in uh, the next Avengers film. That might be interesting. Uh, yeah, so it'd be cool to see. So that's my thoughts on the Marvel Universe. My conspiracy theories kind of explain away some plot points. Um, I th- I think that way. I think that explains a few things. That's always kind of been in my head, but they never really talk about in the U- MCU. Um, like and subscribe. Check out my channel. Check out my other stuff. Uh, I do lots of skits and stuff. It's really fun. Uh, so yeah, I th- that's my thoughts on this stuff. I can't wait for new films to come out. Can't wait to see what the next story li- storyline is. I actually like Thor: Love and Thunder. I thought it was pretty good. Um, so yeah, um, I can subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye bye. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay.